Do you have Mormon? No offense, Mormons. If you're in the room, it's cool. This room was made for you. Here we go. Point is, really hard to tell people anything about yourself, let alone that I like boobies and vaginas. Also, including, actually I didn't really like any of the other stuff. That was pretty much it. Dad! Uh, this is the first time we've had this conversation, actually. I'm coming out to my dad right now. I forgot. Well, Dad! said it was a phase. Anyway, I'm not going to go into a long rant about this. Point is, you have a friend. If you, if, How many people in here are bisexual or the otherwise, like, spectrum? Like, let's raise your hand if you've ever been curious. Gay, on the queer spectrum, like, yeah. you'd be surprised how queer you are, even if you don't raise your hand. Allow me to educate you after the class. With words, goddammit, sickos. Anyway, the point is that we fell in love or we became very interested with the physical bodies of our closest friends in the locker rooms, at the sleepovers, if you were ever invited to those. And then you realize why you weren't invited to those. Because you can't stop looking at boobs that developed before yours. And anyway, so that's a weird thing. Anyway, this song came out of that phase. It was really awkward and falling in love with your best friend is not a good idea when you live in Rigby, Idaho, and you have the threat of many, many terrible things happening to you in all seriousness, like, you basically just convince yourself that you're a fucking liar, that you're gonna grow out of it. So that's what this song's about. Here we go.
don't get any ideas about so kiss about honey there's a reason why Honey,